what I've noticed in music is your personal life and your professional life are very interwoven. But that gets really hard because you sometimes have to be, especially as a manager, you, your phone has to be on loud at two in the morning. And you can get a call, especially James lives in LA. He's two hours My earlier. phone's on airplane mode right now. Don't tell anyone. I will never. I won't out you. Actually, I'll text James right after this. No, but um, how do you... How do you go about balancing that? I know it's been hard, so we've talked about it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's different for everyone. It depends on your personal comfort level. It depends on your ability to handle stressful situations. It depends on your ability to be, like, cool. Um, like, I don't mean, like, be cool. I mean, like, just, like, chill sometimes and, like, not be, like, you know, a fanboy and stuff. Um, but there's a, that's, there's a lot of questions to that, you know? Um, it makes me think back to a lot of the situations that I saw all over the years, you know? I mean, using G is a great example. I've, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be able to work with somebody who I, I have a lot of respect for and I think has worked really, really hard to get where they are. Um, and, and, you know, I've, been, I've had the opportunity to benefit from that relationship, which is awesome. But I've also seen a lot of people starting really, really early who, you know, for one reason or another, like ego related issues or otherwise either wanted to beef with them or like, you know, would work with them for a little while and then like assume that they were responsible for success or something like that. And, you know, that uh, I think when you combine this industry, which is, you know, you have artists and you have egos and like all those things are great. Like you're not going to have the music industry without artists and egos. Um, but you start throwing a lot of other things in, like people who are at various levels of their like emotional development, and we all want to pretend like we're, um, you know, adults and we can like function in this crazy industry. But it's insane, and sometimes it's really hard. And some, you know, there's drugs, and there are there's like sex, and there's just totally. In, it's it's hard to put into words exactly. Um, the amount of times that I've been put into questionable situations. Mm -hmm. I've made bad decisions before. Like, I'm no saint, you know? It's like, and to ask when you draw that line, it's different for everybody. Yeah. Some people can't handle it, you know? And it's, it, it's especially tough to see in New Orleans because there's a lot of kids that I know from, you know, my music industry program who are hooked right. on drugs or who paid for four years of education and just, you know, spent the whole time okay. drinking or partying mm -hmm. or whatever and are still, nothing wrong working in the service industry, but are doing something that they didn't think that they would be doing. Um, so, yeah. yeah, it's it's tough and it requires a lot of thought. <laughs>